Hi, I'm Allison Deppner. I belong to the La Mesa Lions Club and I am an assistive technology instructor here at San Diego Futures Foundation. Computers have become very important to everyone and especially to blind individuals like myself. You know, before computers, I had to either hire someone to read printed documents to me or I had to use enlarging software or enlarging technology to magnify print so that I could see it. And I can tell you firsthand how difficult that was. Um, the uh, magnification often caused headaches. Um, it took forever to read anything. Um, and, and hiring someone wasn't always an option because it, it was expensive. So reading my own mail, um, applying for jobs, or um, just reading a newspaper, getting the ads out of a newspaper for sales at the grocery store were very difficult, if not impossible. But computers have changed all of that. And so now I can, with a computer and adaptive technology, I can read emails and send emails to my friends and my family all over the country or the world for that matter. I can also, I can read news online in the comfort of my own home, when I feel like it, and at the rate that I feel like reading. So I'm not dependent on other people anymore to read the news or read grocery store ads. And I can now shop from home. And that's huge because I don't have to rely on transportation to get me to and from a grocery store. So computers have made a huge difference in the lives of blind individuals. Hi, my name is Isabel Alcaraz, and I'm part of SDFF's Youth Coding Program. Hi, Isa. So why did you join the program? Uh, I joined the program because I'm really interested in video games and animations, and I saw that coding was a part of that. So I was super excited when this free program came up, and I was excited to come and try it out. And what have you learned throughout the program? I definitely learned a lot. Um, from when I first came to the program, I was uh, aware what a function, procedure, and variables were, but I definitely was able to find out how to use them for my own circumstances instead of just following a YouTube tutorial or instructions. Awesome. And what did you like about the program? Um, I really liked that we didn't just learn one set thing, that we were able to learn a bunch of different things such as the block-based or the Java or the HTML and C++, it was cool to be able to work in a range of different things. And will you pursue coding in the future? And if so, what do you plan to do with it? I would definitely like to. I enjoy coding a lot because it's basically like one big puzzle that you have to break down and solve in steps. And I really enjoy that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your no, thank time. Thank you. And we'll see you in the future, our next future coder. <laughs> I first heard, heard about Code SDF through uh, the VA, I believe, and through the Voc Rehab. I've been interested with technology for a long time, but I haven't really had the opportunity to learn coding yet. And so I was glad for the opportunity, and I uh, went and applied. Uh, I like it a lot so far. It's, it's challenging, but... Uh, they help us a lot. The teachers help us. They'll they'll message us after hours uh, if we if we have questions about the homework and stuff. So it's it's very it's a very good course. Uh, well, they've told us there's numerous uh, resources later that they're gonna help us with uh, resumes and interviewing skills. And so I I hope to make a career out of it. I know a lot of the private sector courses they're really expensive. So and at the time I was just I'm going through Voc Rehab through the VA. So my funding's kind of limited, and so, and I know that the other classmates, they have similar issues, so it's really, it's really greatly appreciated that you guys can offer this program, this opportunity for us.